I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2020, brought to you by Species Nutrition. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is a special one, one of the biggest freaks in all of bodybuilding, the fan favorite, he is the people's champ, Ruli Winkler, welcome to the show. That face says it all, Ruli, you can see you're suffering. <laughs> Talk to me. What's going on over there? How's the, how's training going in Oxygen Gym? Training go well. You know, everybody do his own thing. Everybody focus on self. I see. I see. Uh, everybody that's called Mr. Olympia. I think only we three of us go to Olympia. I think Brandon uh, and Ashkenani. I train the most time with Ashkenani. Mm -hmm. Because we have the same coach, and Brandon right. have Abdullah, right. and he trained with Abdullah. But we see each other every day. But you know, we do his thing, and he do his thing, and that's it. When you see Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry training in the gym, and you you beat Brandon before, you have to say to yourself, "Here's a a, a, a tremendous opportunity. If I come to the Olympia at my very best." I know I could win the Olympia because I've beaten everyone in there, um, with maybe the exception of Phil Heath. But putting Phil aside for a second, you beat everyone out there. You're the biggest guy in the lineup. No one's bigger than you. No one's freakier than you. That has to be a lot of confidence, you know, going into a show like that, knowing that, right? Yeah, but I believe, I believe is um, not that I can beat everybody. I, I, I believe the moment the day how you look and how you be how you feel this all, all that day you know you can i was like looking like two days before the show i was looking like wonderful and on the day from the show was nothing this right. i you can say a lot but on the day from the show count you know of course of course what, what do you think you have to do? What, what's the strategy this year for you to bring your best on the day of the show as opposed to, like you said, a week out or two days out? What, what are you planning? What has changed in your preparation mentally and both you know, strategy-wise where you, you're going to bring it on the day of prejudging? I think mentally um, I will take, mentally I will take um, myself away from everybody around me um, I think that's the best option mm. because um, last year um, only what I was here is you could be Mr. Olympia and it, it worked with me you know I was too much nervous and I think that worked too much with me if I don't hear that I just go with a good feeling on the stage and be on best shape and that that's it. I, I think I, I, I mentally mentally I go just just me and myself close myself and be good on the show. That I'm glad that's a very honest answer, Ruli, because you make a very good point. Here you're saying is that you were ready physically, but mentally you were very nervous and you think it affected you. And and, and I can understand that. A lot of people don't understand the pressure at the upper level of bodybuilding, when you're going for the Mr. Olympia title, there's a there's an absolute mental aspect of that sport. And that's why guys like Jay Cutler and Phil Heath are, were such great champions because of the fact that they had that mental edge where they were able to bring it every single time. And so you're saying that by isolating yourself a little more, not worrying about what people are saying, you're gonna be able to focus more on the show and, and rather than on what people are saying about you. 
Yes, true. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 and that's a very smart thing, I think, for you to do because, like you said, it is. But at some point, let's say you win the Mr. Olympia, okay? Let's say you, you win, okay? Just we'll, we'll fantasize for a minute. <laughs> now, going into your title defenses, you're going to have to, like, you know, be a guy who's talking about it. People are going to want to ask you questions as Mr. Olympia. How do you then focus yourself but yet still be able to be out in the public? Do you think it's, you, you get more confidence when you're Mr. Olympia and it won't be as bad? Um, how, how do you uh, how do you break down that mental aspect of it? Really, I don't think about that yet because um, <laughs> the, 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 it's a really big step. If I win Mr. Olympia, I will be the happy person of the world. <laughs> I will interview and I will talk with everybody till everybody go because the happiness is already there. Yeah. Why you will be sad to don't talk because you, you're Mr. Olympia, you will talk, you, you, you're happy, you, you're tired, but you will happy, you yeah. will talk at the whole time. It, you know, this. when I watch superhero movies, really, okay, and I, and I always see the super, the, 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 like the Avengers and stuff like that, I see the guys with the most weapons, you're like, you're like Thanos, you got the physique, you got all the weapons, you're the strongest guy out there, you got the most, uh, I guess you could say, tools at your disposal, going into the show. And I'm sure the other competitors are very nervous about you because you really have no weak body parts, okay? You, you have more muscle than everyone else. You're even bigger than Rami. I, I, I truly believe on a height for muscle ratio, especially given lean muscle, I think you're bigger than Rami. That, that's gotta give you a lot of confidence. I would think that you, that you would feel really positive about yourself going into a show like that. You know, I, I, I see some comments for you that you say that I'm bigger than Rami. You are. I I you was, are. I, I wish I was bigger than Rami. I, I, when I see Rami, I say like, damn, how could be big like that? You but are bigger than he is because you're shorter. But, 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 but that, that is, that is uh, something for every bodybuilding. You, you, you think yourself is smaller than the rest and you want to be bigger than the rest. But... um. You can see by yourself, and you say it by yourself, big is not everything. And I, I think I don't go focus on big this time, man. Yeah. Just right. be on shape and sharp, and yeah. let we see what's that gonna be. Because um, big is not everything. True. Now let me ask you a question, Rami. Uh, I'm calling. I'm calling you Rami. You see, uh, really, um, a lot of people want to know what the secret was to you bringing your waist down because your waist improved dramatically over the last couple of years. It's flatter, it's smaller, you have better, a better V taper. What, what, what techniques did you use to, to get that uh, waistline to look like it does now? Oh, my, my uh, technique was using the waist trainer. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, everybody was saying the waist gain is for gay and it's for girls <laughs> and everything. <laughs> But I don't have other option. This I don't what was not nothing about how I can down my waist. This I was using my waist training, and then I start to um, train the plank. Plank training. Planking. Mm -hmm. Planking. What yeah. is that? Explain yeah. to people what the planking is. Planking is like um, um go on your belly and hold your hand like this and be straight right be straight and try to be on your lungs and how long you that do that um you either can do um um vacuum i i, I how long i do how more i'm going my diet I can do the vacuum, but you know when when you when you cup up, I think uh, your belly is full and the, then <laughs> and don't go anymore. But um, so how do you? Keep, I do a lot of yeah. When you carb up, what do you do? How do you keep your your stomach flat when you're carbing up? I don't know. It's something different. The guys carb me up. It's the pan, the body, and. Are you taking uh, fiber? You using a good fiber supplement to get like to move stuff through your, st your stomach quicker too. I know I'm, a, I, I'm a very difficult personal, and I don't eat myself how my body works. But um, 
it's it's depend the body how flat I am, how much the food they put in. Right. So you're not you're not overeating. I, want, I, 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 I just want I don't want to be um overloaded same like Arnold um uh, I think two thousand sixteen. Right. When Arnold complained my my belly. I was sharp, I was everything, but my belly I can hold in and that was the whole complaint when I start to focus on my uh, belly. Right, and so, and that's when you did the waist shaper. Now when you wear a waist shaper, for people who don't know, it's like a corset almost, you put around your waist. Do you wear that 24 hours a day? No, hell no. Okay. You can't eat a sleep, you, you can't eat a sleep with that because it's like, you, uh, you, you will, I think when you go sleep with that, I think you will, uh, you, you, sh you, 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 you breathe will be short yeah I just I just um, do it with cardio okay um, I, tr I don't train with it okay. but um, I use it after training gotcha um, and before I sleep I take it off okay so you wear it you don't wear it you you don't wear it when you weight train because obviously you don't want to weaken the muscles that you're training and then yeah. you don't use it when you're sleeping at night no okay but that, so you don't need to do it 24 hours a day. Now, when you put that thing on, do you do you cinch that thing pretty tight? Do you make it very tight? Yeah, it is, it, it, you try to, you have to um, truly stand it. Mm. You have the first one, second one, third one. Right. But I'm ready on, on the third one now, and I have no smaller, but. <laughs> you got to get a girl's, you got to get a girl's corset now. Yeah, yeah. You should have a supplement. I mean, you should have a sponsor. You should have a waist shaper sponsor. You, I mean, it really worked well for you. No, no. I, I, I have somebody that gave me that with all <laughs> my pleasure. There you go. Um, I want to tell her name. Skinny. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, skinny Roti. Roti Skinny from Canada. Okay. Um, she, she sponsored me that uh, waist trainer. They're very good. And I'm happy with that. Well, it worked. And uh, hopefully we're going to see it. Now, you had a couple of little uh, uh, injury problems, didn't you, like last year? I have nothing. No? Nope. No injuries. Okay. No. All right. Mm. Did, wasn't, there a, when, uh, what, wasn't there a problem at the Arnold or something like that? Or you had some, something. Ha what happened to you last year? What? What? what, what the, one of your shows, you had something. They said something was, was not right with you. Were you sick or something like that before the show? Arnold? The Arnold, last yeah, year? yeah, the Arnold last year. Oh no, I go gas post and I have food poison. Just like uh, three, four weeks before the show, food poison. Uh, Nep I go to gas post in Nepal and get food poison. Oh, you got and food poisoning? Okay, that's what it was. I got. You. I had food poison, but I was still feel, I was feel good, feeling good. After that, I, I was feeling better exactly, but. I think the rebound come after three weeks. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So you, you had a water rebound. Is that what it was? And you couldn't get yeah. rid of all the water. I got you. Yeah. All right. You know, when, when guys are as big as you are, because, you know, and I, I can relate to that from back in my day. When something goes wrong with you, if you get sick or if, if it like the ramifications are like amplified, like it, it, it's not like a normal person happening. You, like you'll excessively hold water. You, you know, it, it takes your body like a week or two to kind of regulate itself, and people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. It's like you're two yeah, people in one. <laughs> yeah, because I, I go after, after that, I go to um, Arnold Classic Australia. I was much better. Yeah, yeah. Much better. I agree. I agree 100%. All right, well, you know, I want to wish you the best of luck. Uh, now, you, are you going to have any problems getting from Kuwait over to the uh, Miami, or I should say uh, Orlando? Uh, Olympia, the, as far as plane flights go, do you have to like go through other countries or do you have to leave early? How does that work now? No, no, no. Kuwait is not on the list from uh, okay. problem from COVID for the U.S. Gotcha. Either my country is not a problem. Um, I, I, I'm free to come. Are I you going over with Brandon? Me. You guys all flying together? Yeah, we, we, we all fly together. I think Brandon will go earlier. We're gonna go earlier because he have to go home and before he go show. Gotcha. But we all go like one week before the the show. We will, all will, all will be there. 
Now, the good thing about being in Kuwait is it's kind of like you're in quarantine anyway with the, right, right? Where you, where you live, you just go to the gym and train and eat and that's it. So you're in quarantine. Are you a little nervous about the whole travel thing with COVID and, you know, people getting sick, you know, you know, from travel? Does that worry you at all? You know, um, how you say it already correct. It's already quarantine. Um, what I do is, I go to the gym, um, you know, either in the gym every day, people want picture with you and people want to talk with you. I do one thing. I just go to the gym. <laughs> I wear my mask. Um, I do my thing yeah. and come back home and stay home. I don't go nowhere. You're smart. You're smart. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not mix me myself with all the coffee because I'm more home. I'm gym. I do six six AM I do cardio. Yeah. I come back home. I go train twelve. I come back home. I go train seven. <laughs> come back home. I, I, I don't mess with nobody. <laughs> I just say hi. Everybody there in Kuwait, everybody is like kisses. I do box. <laughs> You're smart. Yeah. You're smart. You know, you know, and um, people say what about COVID, but really, you're not I, exposed I don't to focus anyone. On the yeah. COVID. I just focus on myself and training. And um, if you go worry about COVID and your training, then you 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 do you not finish. You know. Right. Do they? What do they deliver your food to you? You have your food delivered. Everything being delivery, man. That's Everything awesome. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, yeah. You got a good setup. I think that's that. You know, probably that's the, you're you're one of the safest people because you don't do anything. You just go to the gym and go back to your house. So that's smart. Um, and everything delivery fresh. You know, it's, it's the, the that's the awesome. Beauty thing. Every you day know, you get I, fresh food. Every day, every moment, every hour. Wow. I have my hours when how late they eat, and they bring it every time. Sometimes. It's messed up with my training. This it's longer than normal. That's mean uh, I eat maybe the food maybe half hour, forty five minutes after, but still it's fresh, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah. that's awesome. You got yeah. you got it made over there. You're in a body yeah, yeah. paradise over there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> true. But you know what? It's good because it keeps you focused. Um, what do you do like during your spare time? Are you like on the internet and just going doing social media type stuff? You know. Um, Netflix. <laughs> um, what have you been watching? What are your favorite shows you watched on Netflix? Uh, Netflix. I'm tired of Netflix. There's nothing more good. Did you watch uh, Queen's Gambit? 2020 is nothing, not even a good movie. No. Watch Queen's Gambit. It's a series on Netflix. Queen's? Queen, the, the Queen's Gambit. It's about a, a chess prodigy, a girl who's a chess prodigy. Okay. Phenomenal. Okay. You'll love it. You'll you'll text me and tell me you love it. I guarantee it. The Queen's? The Queen's Gambit, it's called, which is a chess opening. That's the name of the, uh, the, okay. the series. Okay. I will do this. All right. You'll love it. All right, Ruli, thanks so much for taking time. I know you're busy, and I know you're, well, you're maybe not that busy, but I, I know you're focused on the <laughs> show, and I want to wish you the best of luck, and, and hopefully you come back as Mr. Olympia. Thank you, bro. All right. That's going to take us, guys, to the end of another episode of RX Muscle's Iron Road to the Olympia 2020. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time.